Hey everybody, it's uh, June 9th, 521 p.m. I'm just sitting out here, enjoying a cold drink and watching Wishbone just sit and chill. So, I want to apologize for the fact that I haven't been really posting very many full-length videos, but um, a couple of weeks ago, Memorial Day weekend as a matter of fact, um... We had a bit of a family emergency. Luna, who you guys have seen on this channel probably a lot and on TikTok, um, she's diabetic and she was diagnosed with diabetes two years ago. And a while ago, she had a blood sugar scare. It was very high. And if it, we hadn't gotten it in time, we would have gone into ketoacidosis and yeah, it, it would have been bad. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> so, on, um, on Memorial Day, Saturday, uh, our vet was closed. They closed, I think, I don't even know if they're even open on Saturdays anymore. Um, and there was an animal hospital. There's an animal hospital that's on Highway 70, but we weren't sure we were going to make it. She got really sick. So we had to drive down to the animal hospital on the west side of El Paso. And then, because her blood sugar was so high, we had to go to the, um, we had to go to the emergency room off of Gateway. And, uh, that was interesting. And she had to spend Saturday... Sunday and Monday and part of Tuesday at the uh, at the animal hospital but apparently she did very well she was very sweet uh, we, heard, we heard no complaints which was good um, the doctors there gave us some new insulin for her to take she's been on it now for uh, two this coming Saturday will have been I think about three three weeks and yeah it was just it was very it was very taxing for all of us we were all scared and um but she's definitely back to her old self she's bugging wishbone much to his distress uh we've given her some new medicine uh she's on a new food prescription food and she's doing okay so, as I said, because of that, some plans that I had had kind of got wrenched away, but I have decided to, uh, I've decided to work on, to, of course, one thing you learn as a business person and as an artist is that you learn to adapt. So, we move on, and we, uh, yeah. So, on the blog, I'm going to be posting... A chapter of a story that I was working on a while back, um, which is sort of a nod, which is a nod, it's an actual nod to William Goldman, who, as some of you may know, was the author and screenwriter for *The Princess Bride*. He also did *The Stepford Wives*, but that's a different video. And uh, I wrote it in his. I'm writing it in his honor because and there goes a car. If you all have never read the book, the original book, I highly recommend you do so. It's really great. It does go into a lot more detail about things than uh, the movie does, but definitely read the book. It's fantastic, and I think it's inspired some of my writing, in a way. So yeah, expect that sometime soon. And of course, it's Pride Month, so there will probably be some Pride shenanigans. Well, maybe not shenanigans, but you know. And I got to tell you guys about something important that's coming up. But, uh, one second. Look at that mug. Which pony you got a mug, Yanya? You know that? He says, I don't care. It has been very hot recently, and of course some of you may know there's the wildfires going on. 
Whoa, look at that thunderhead. That is so cool. Of course, it could be a pyrocumulus cloud. I don't know. I don't think so. But yeah, right now, um, there is some, some, uh, well, some stuff going on, of course. With the wildfires, it's been hard to go out and work on things. Um, of course, poor Alyssa. Asthma's bothering her, so. Um, mm. Speaking of medicine, yours truly now takes their blood sugar every day. Which is good, because I still want to be here for a while, you know? And if I have to do the blood sugar glucose thing, oh, excuse me, then so be it. And it's not too bad. Um, although I do notice that I seem, I think I may have finally figured out, thanks to mom, on how to actually take, on how to actually take my blood sugar. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be getting better results than I have been. But yeah, it's not too bad. I take it in the morning before I take my morning pills. Then I take it uh, two hours after breakfast. Two hours after lunch or dinner. And then I try to take it one more time before I go to bed. Before I take my evening pills. Because apparently taking medicine does affect your sh sugar. Which I didn't know. But now I do. <sighs> Excuse me. But I've also been taking some stuff that's been helping me not have legs problems in the morning, which I've been going through. And I had an x-ray to see about my right shoulder, and because it's been bothering me a bit, because I had a nasty fall in October, and we're going to see what happens. So, fingers crossed. As for videos, um, I am planning, as soon as I get a chance... To redo my Tangulu video from last year. I've had a chance to study the recipe, study the technique. And I realized what I did last year was that I did not... Uh, you're not really supposed to keep the sugar going on a low thing. You're supposed to... If you want to heat it back up again, you just heat it back up again. But you have to turn it off. Then you have to put... Oh, excuse me. Then you have to put the fruit in. Oh, hey, buddy. And then, uh, also don't use frozen fruit. Fresh fruit seems to be the best option. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, whether that will be sometime this month or any other month, I can't say. We'll have to see. But, there is a special thing that I'm going to be vlogging about this weekend. If you're a 90s girl like me, and you also grew up in the early aughts, you know that there were two big boy bands that were fighting for supremacy. In Sync and Backstreet Boys. Backstreet Boys are currently on tour. And we actually, um, we had planned to get tickets for the pandemic, I think. But we got them. Unfortunately, Mom and Alyssa aren't feeling too well. So they're, um, they gave their tickets to somebody else. But I have a ticket. Chris has a ticket, and so does his wife, Asher. So, uh, expect that kind of shenaniganery going on. And then, I'll also be hanging out with my cousin, Doug. Well, is he my cousin? Yeah, he's my cousin-in-law, technically. And, um, yeah, that's gonna be fun. So, I hope you guys are gonna stay tuned for that. Now on to something that I mentioned a while back on one of my stories... That finally came to fruition. First, uh, I just want to mention, some of you may have already seen, I have a new phone, Google Pixel 6. I love it. It's really cool. Uh, I do miss my Samsung a little bit, but, you know, this is a good phone. But, on to serious stuff. Uh, back in the beginning of May, on... Uh, on the 8th, on the 9th, my scooter, which I've had since 2012, was stolen from the Home Depot parking lot. And as a result, I am currently vehicle-less. However, someone 
thank God, I actually saw the person stealing my scooter and saw my post about it on Facebook and actually called the police and gave them a description. And that was on March, no, that was on May 9th, which was a Monday. So the day after, I called my insurance, I spoke to the officer, and I remember asking him, both mom and I asking him, if there was a chance that the scooter would be, well, that we'd find the scooter intact. And he said it was very unlikely, or there was not even a chance they could find it at all. So I pretty much consigned myself to not finding, having the scooter ever again, when uh, on the Wednesday after, I got a, the police actually came and knocked on my door, and they told me that they found it. However, they weren't actively looking for it, they had made an arrest, and while they were there, they found it. So they had it towed to a a salvage yard, some of you may know it, um, you guys know about the towing yard that's right there near Queensbury on Picacho? Eh, probably not. Anyway, so I went down there and I saw the scooter and it was, um, pretty much destroyed. Yeah, it was bad. Uh, the the headlight was gone, the mirrors were gone, mirrors were always a pain in the ass. Um, the headlight was hanging from its thing, like, you know, they were trying to put it back. The whole front panel, which had all my bumper stickers on it, was gone. Uh, the seat was replaced with a leather seat, which, okay, I mean, my seat was starting to, to get some wear and tear, so, and uh, they were also in the process of spray painting it black. <sighs> the sad thing is also though that they took the helmet that Alyssa had bought for me when my other one died. Um, they took a piece of something I'd taken from Aunt Pat's car when she died. <sighs> the, um, <clears throat> they also took all the tools that came with the scooter when it was purchased, as well as some stuff I purchased, and yeah, but there was no chance of saving it at all. So mom and I have come to the decision that it was gonna, yeah, we were just gonna have it towed somewhere and do that. So. As I said, right now I'm currently vehicleless, but I'm not as upset as I could be. I mean, maybe two or three years ago, I would have, I would have had a full-on panic attack. I would have been like, "Oh my God! Oh my God! What am I gonna do?" But now I'm a little more at ease with it. Also, I want to say once again to the staff of Home Depot, especially David, the manager. And Lisa, one of the clerks, you guys kept me calm and cool. Uh, you even, you know, you'd come up and ask me if I needed a drink or something to eat until mom got there. But I didn't, but I appreciate you checking on me. And also thank you to Officer Riviera of the Las Cruces Police Department. And, oh God, I cannot remember the name of the guy who, who um, came and told me, the officer. If anyone knows his name, let me know. But thank you, sir, for also coming to tell me. Thank you to the folks down at the salvage yard for being patient. Thank you to people at my insurance. And yeah, that's kind of what's been going on. But yeah, there's going to be a vlog. There's going to be a piece of thing. And also, um, going to be something interesting coming on because I've been watching these, this one YouTube channel called uh, Daniel Story CC, where he recaps whole movies. And he does a great job at it, but he's not the only one. There's also story recapped and mystery recapped. If you guys want to check them out, I'll put the link down below. Um, so, yeah. 
Also, I have congratulations to Her Majesty Elizabeth II on her Platinum Jubilee. Well done, Mom. And also, uh, man, I can't believe that in my lifetime, a queen is still on the throne of England and she's gone through a diamond jubilee and now a platinum jubilee. I wonder what's after platinum. Gold? No, no. Gold is uh, and silver. Well, I guess we'll have to see. So, until next time, my friends, wash your hands, wear your mask, and stay safe. I'll see you later. Bye.